How's it going subscribers? Today we're going to be talking about the company and the stock DNR, Densbury. It's right now it's currently $1.37. It's been going up 3% in the past day. In the past week it's down 9%. The past month down 27%. Three months down 16%. Look at the one year is down close to 70%. Look at the five years down 92%. What's going on here? You look at the volume, the volume matches the average volume. So we can say that the price is somewhat to where it should be. And when you look at the market cap, we can see that it's, uh, it's 631.92 million. The PE ratio is positive at 2.419 so this is good news dividends is zero doesn't offer any dividends it's closer to its 52 week low than this 52 week high actually it is at its 52 week low so one can argue that you would be getting a discount plus this company is profitable we look at dnr in the news we can see that it made the top ranked value stocks to buy for may 30th according to yahoo finance so hey if you guys want to go, if you guys want want to go with what Yahoo Finance thinks, then be my guest and get it. When we look at the analysts, 11 analyst ratings, 0% are saying it's a buy, 91% are saying it's a hold, 9% are saying it's a sell. So when we look at the buyers, the buyers are saying that unlike traditional ENPs, Denberry is not relying on risky dry powder. Exploration to add reserves to production response of CO2 flooding is more stable and predictable. Denver's production declines very slowly and the firm can get by with minimal capital during commodity down cycles. Denver's Jackson Dome property in Mississippi provides the firm with a formidable cost advantage over other CO2 sources for its territory oil recovery operations. Now when we look at the haters, what the haters are saying is that the EOR extraction is much more expensive than shale production and the capital requirements are heavily front loaded. Denver's natural CO2 reserves are finite as more of the firm's needs are met by man-made supplies, operational expenses could rise, eroding profitability. Denver has yet to develop certain projects and given current capital constraints it could take so long to do so that they are essentially valueless. Now. When you look at the morning uh, star report, they're saying that Denver is focused on enhanced oil recovery in the Gulf Coast and Rockies. They're giving it a three stars, non economic moat, fair value at $2. So they're saying it's worth about $2. So, hey, it could go up to $2. Their uncertainty is extreme. So they're saying it's, uh, it, it could be extremely uh, inaccurate. Their target price at $2. Your stewardship is standard. We look at the uh, earnings per share. The earnings per share is in the positive range. So this company is profitable. This is good news, guys. And it's a high volatile company. CEO is Christian S. Kendall, and it's headquartered in Plano, Texas. Founded in 1951 and employs 847 people. So it's a decent amount of people. Denver Resources Inc. is an independent oil and natural gas company. Its activities include exploration, drilling, and extraction. It operates in the Gulf of Coast and Rocky Mountain regions. The company was founded by Gareth G. Roberts in 1951. It's headquartered in Plano, Texas. The friend will listen name for DNR is Densbury Resources Inc. There you guys have it. Thank you guys for watching. Smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time.